What's up YouTubers, today I'll be showing you how to get the Nintendo DS emulator on the PC and it's pretty simple and let's just get straight to it, how about that? Okay, the first thing you want to do is go to emulatorzone.com and as always I'll have the link down below in the description box so as you scroll down to this website you see there's a list of emulators each one of them rated at, at different ratings and I always recommend to get high rated um, emulators uh, because the ones that are usually rated higher are the ones that work best but um, I like no cash GBA better than uh, this one on here on top because I, ha I have used it before and um, it's your choice you can use the one on top or you can use the one I'm using right now uh, I'll just use this one since I personally like it a lot better so you're just gonna click on that and uh, scroll down and just click on this and it will download so there you go so it downloaded pretty fast okay so now that you have got gotten the emulator downloaded let's go download the ROM the, pretty much the games you know and uh, once again cool ROM has a list of games that you could download from so you know they have tons in fact I didn't even know they had Pokemon white and um Pokemon Pokemon Black 2 just recently I just noticed that they um, updated the website with a new game so that's pretty cool but uh, I would have downloaded these games but they take a little while so I'm just gonna go with diamond hopefully that um, downloads quick so you just you know click on that scroll down click on download and wait for it to download pretty much okay. Okay, so sometimes they ask you for all this crap. You can just skip right here. You want to just click on next, decline this, decline this, decline this also. Let it download. You know, um, sometimes it takes a while because of how long the ROM could be, depending on the graphics and all that stuff. So um, this one's taking a little longer than usually the ones I download for Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color ROMs. But like I said, it's it all depends on how big the file is, pretty much. Okay, so that's done. What? Just click on next. Decline this, you know, and then open it up. Okay, so um when you open you can exit the browser you don't need to use this anymore so what you want to do here is um, when you download the ROM you want to go to the folder the zip folder drag out Pokemon Diamond NDS just drag that out the file that's unzipped or well, the file that's in the zipped folder just drag that out because um, if you click on the file file zip folder it won't work so what you have to do is go on the emulator so click on the emulator click on this one more time click on run and once you go on run on desktop I have the Pokemon ROM click open and it should open up and there you go it says so far as well that's it 